And I'm Mabel. And we are from Happy Little Art Studio. Today we're going to take a trip to Seattle. But where is Seattle? Seattle is in Washington, a state across the country, close to the Pacific Ocean. So we're focusing on the most disgusting art project of all time. In Seattle, there's a lot of artwork, but we picked this special one. It's called the Bubblegum Wall. You guessed it! It's where it's a wall full of bubblegum. Now, after a whole year of wearing masks, scrubbing our hands, we thought that it would be fun to choose the most germiest art project of all. I know it's kind of a weird art project to be doing, but wouldn't it be awesome if you could take your favorite piece of bubble gum, have a journey across the country, and go to Seattle one day and stick your mark on the bubble gum wall. Let's get, get started. started. First, let's see what's inside our box. Oh, once you open it up, you have some clay and a black ink. Now the cool thing about this clay is it called modeling clay. It basically never dries. And that's why it reminds us of bubble gum. Step one, open your canvas. You're going to take your two fingers and pretend that they are people. And you're going to take your clay, as soon as you open it, and take your favorite color. And you're going to pretend, oh, this is your person, and they're hungry for some bubble gum. So they're just going to take a little bit of bubble gum, and they're going to chew the bubble gum up. This is some fine bubble gum. Do you like your bubble gum, Stella? Here, it has a mix of water and then it. No, once you get a ball, like that, you are going to take your thumb and put it on the canvas. There are lots of ways you can make your modeling clay stick to your canvas. The way I like to do it is just make it into a ball and then push it down. And so don't worry if you make a mistake because this is your bubblegum wall. You can just take another piece of bubblegum and say, oops, I made a mistake. I'm just gonna use some bubblegum over it. So this project takes a very long time. If your fingers start to hurt, you might as well take a break and chew some bubblegum. Don't give up until all your clay is gone. Oh, mostly gone. Now we're gonna get to work. The Gubble Gum Wall is located inside an L. It's about 50 feet long. In 2015, the bubble gum was cleared. It took 130 hours of workers' time and they put off 2,350 pounds of old, wet, dry gum. But right away, people started putting new gum on it and it's rebuilt since then. In 2009, the bubblegum wall made it to the top five, the top five most germiest tourist attractions in the world. in Seattle, Washington is not the only bubblegum wall. There's one in California and there's one in Ohio. Now some 
people just like to take their bubble gum and, and stick it on the bubble gum. But others like to chew many, many bubble gums and make a design with it. Like maybe their initials or a heart or a star. That's gross. My mama gave me a pickle. You told me to buy a pickle. I did not buy a pickle, and instead I bought some bubble gum. What? What? Bubble gum. Say what? Bubble gum. What? What? Bubble gum. Say what? Did you know that chewing gum while slicing up an onion can stop your eyes from watering? the largest bubble ever blown was 23 inches long. That's this long. It's that long. Every bubble gum wall should look different. None are exactly the same. Here are some examples. Here are some examples. Make sure you send us photos of your bubblegum wall. We want to see what you made. See you next week. Bye! Bye.